this is Brandon Moon with Moonlit Fly Fishing. I want to welcome you to Fly Tying Night tonight. Tonight we're going to be tying up the Foam Assassin Ant. This is a flying ant pattern. Very, very effective. With that, I want to invite you, if you find any value in this video whatsoever or any of our other videos, make sure that you like the video, leave us a comment, hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive future notification. We appreciate that support a great deal and it helps us out a lot. With that, we're going to put the hook in the vise. We're using the Moonlit Premium Tagata ML102 hook. This is a barbless competition style hook. We're just going to start that thread roughly about three quarters of the way up the hook shank. And then we're going to create a nice thread base with our Semperfly Classic Wax dot black thread. Use whatever color you're tying with this. You could tie this in purple as everybody knows I like purple. You could tie it in a rust cinnamon type color. I'm going to trim out that thread there. Now I'm going to take the Moonlit Zero Gravity Tine Foam. This has cut the width of the hook gate. I'm going to tie this in to where the tip of this foam is going to end up roughly at that where that hook point is right here. We'll just kind of gently go over and secure it all in. I'll pull this back just a little bit and this is going to help me secure that down. So this fly we wrap back down the bend just a little bit versus just to the bend. So I'm going to take this thread right to where that hook point is. Now I'm going to take some black Semperfly Kapok dubbing. This is just an ultra super fine dubbing. Floats 30% its body weight so I like it. But you could use any dry fly dubbing, any super fine dubbing as well. I'm just going to Put a little bit of dubbing on there and I'm going to take and start wrapping back and I'm just going to kind of pull that foam just a little bit as I wrap back and seat that dubbing into where that foam is. A little more dubbing on here. We're going to create this little hump that goes all the way to that hook point. Then I'm going to take my foam and you can see I'm stretching my foam, pinching it, and then I'm going to secure that down with a couple wraps. And then we'll take our scissors and I'm just going to clip that out and then I'm going to kind of angle that and create a little tip on that. You don't have to. I like to do that just because I believe it helps give me a little bit better smooth segmentation to this. And a few extra wraps in there. Now I'm going to take and tie in my wings for this pattern. And I'm just using some Indian cock rooster feather tip here and the shiny side is going to be towards me and I want that wing to go just past the bend of the hook and the body there. And you can see I stripped that down already just so that it creates a smoother tie-in point here and that wing is going to go just out the side there. Now we'll take and tie in the other one on the other side. That one's a little too long so I'm going to
gently pull it in and just adjust the wing just a little bit. Now we can take and trim out these little posts, stems that are remaining. You can see there's a little fiber here that just kind of not sitting where it's supposed to. So I'm just going to take and trim that one out real quick. Now I'm going to take my zero gravity two millimeter foam in black. I'm just going to tie that tip point in right where that thread was at. I'll pull this just a little bit just so that it allows me to stretch it and get a little ease, better wrap on that. We'll take our Grizzly Hackle. You can see I've stripped that and one side has got a little bit after the other and that's so that when I go to wrap this that first part of the stem is going to be nice and smooth. Now we'll just wrap this about three or four times. Secure that in. I'm just going to kind of set that to the back, preen my hackle fibers back just a little bit and wrap rearward. Now I'm going to take my foam and I'm going to pull those hackle fibers back, kind of stretch that a little bit and secure that down with good couple wraps. Now you can see and I can trim out these hairs or I can just deal with them. So I'm going to trim them out. Now I'll pull that back and I can wrap a little bit of a head there. And then I'm just going to take and whip finish here. So there's one three whip and just for good measure we'll do another three turn whip. We'll snip that out. Now we can take and cut out the hackle here. And I'll take my foam, pull that foam just a little bit, and I'm going to put my scissors right on the tip of that eye of the hook. Now I can just create a little tiny bubble there, and you can see it's still got a really good clean eye. To finish this off, we'll take and trim out the underside here. That's just going to give us our legs going out the side. Gives us a nice slim profile. You can see the bulge and then the center where it tapers into the thin, just like on a regular ant. Just for good measure, you can take and put head cement on that. I don't do it an awful lot, but you can put head cement on that if you wanted to secure that knot down. Again, this is the Foam Assassin Ant. This is a flying ant pattern. And we appreciate your support. Again, if you find any value in this video or any of our other videos, make sure you leave us a comment, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and the bell to receive future notification. 
We hope you enjoyed this video and found some value in it, and we look forward to seeing you again next time. Have a great day.